Damn, that's good. I've been on a juice fast. This is my third day. And I can honestly say that I miss food. <laughs> All right, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this accessory right here. And if you're an FX3 user, you need to buy this ASAP. The link is in the description. So if you've used the FX3 before, you know that it has a fatal flaw. One of the things that I just really hate about this camera is its mounting options for the monitor. I honestly love the audio handle. I use it all the time. And with this, you get quality audio coming into the camera, which has been great. But again, one of the fatal flaws is when it comes to mounting a monitor. And I've seen so many people try to do this so many different ways, but honestly, every way that I've tried, it's either one, really uncomfortable to hold, like you have this monitor in a way that is just causing you to not be able to hold it appropriately, or, like it just infringes on how you hold the camera. And honestly, I wanna, I wanna be able to grip my camera like this. I don't want to have this thing kind of blocking my grip from over here. And either that, which is just really uncomfortable to use, or it just throws the camera off balance. You know, if you put the monitor here to the left side of the camera or something along those lines, it just ends up tilting because the weight is so heavy on this left side that even when you wanna hold it from over here, you have to put so much counterweight using your wrist and your arm that it just gets really uncomfortable to hold after a few hours. I recently saw a video from Mark Bone and how he was using the FX3 and he had this extension arm mounted. Now he, he only had one, I believe. He had it mounted over here and he had it like this. And I guess that's not bad, but you know, that works if you're holding it like this, but if you want to hold it over here, then it just kind of like gets in the way and it just becomes really uncomfortable. I've seen other people where they will put it here. Well, they will kind of do this weird contraption where it's just kind of like this, <laughs> you know, something like that. And that also is just super cumbersome. They only have one of these when they're using it. But again, it just gets really uncomfortable because if you want to use the handle, you can't do a full grip on it. And it's just ridiculous to me. Small Rig, again, phenomenal company. I'm not sponsored. They created this tool and honestly, it's been great. And so I will say one of the things that you should know is that I initially bought this by itself. You can't just buy this by yourself and use another handle. You do have to have the handle extension here. Uh, this one is small rigs. Of course, I previously had the Condor blue one. I still own it. I'm trying to get rid of it. I was hoping that I could just buy this and use it with the Condor blue handle. Apparently you can't. The way small rig did design it was that you have to buy the extension and then you need to buy this thing as well. And so the way this works, I'll do this is that obviously you install the handle and then it does have the little option here and it does have these two little pins. So just keep that in mind when you are purchasing this because it does need to have these two pins right here. You just put it up top and you know, just screw it on. So let's do that now. So now you have this thing on there and now you have the option to just grab one of these. Now I know these sometimes are not the best because if you're using a cold shoe to put your monitor on there, you always want to run the risk that it could just fall off. And I get that. I mean, you also do have these quarter threads on here as well. If you do want to figure out another solution, because you know, it's not the only one you can buy another one of these, put it right there and you'll solve the problem. But now, you know, just hook it on. Honestly, I've used this. I've used it several times and I haven't had any issues. And this thing has a cold shoe mount, so I'll just come put it on there, grip it tight. And boom, there you go. This guys, 
has just been so amazing. And honestly, this is the setup that I use. This along with this battery pack from Anton Bauer. This was my setup when I shot my Chacal, my Chacal music video um, up in the mountains in Marfa, Texas. And this honestly, the ergonomics on this, the weight distribution is great. Look at this, like I'm just, you know, I'm not putting that much weight on this. I'm just holding it down and it's going a little bit forward, but not that much. Okay. And so this has been really, really good. And again, like this is also very flexible. I don't like using these because once you lock it in a certain way, you know, you can't adjust the monitor how you want on the fly. You have to like untighten this and then move it. And when you're out there, I mean, you're trying to move fast. And so having the capability to, okay, I wanna shoot like this and I need to have this here. Well then great, I can just move this and it's good to go. If I need to shoot up, put this down, well then I'm right there and I'm looking at it. If I'm shooting, you know, if I'm holding it like this and I'm shooting maybe down low, I can just pull it up and then I can just see what I'm doing, you know? If I have this on a tripod and I'm adjusting my scene, then all I do is just turn it around, right? And I can then just see what the camera sees and that's been great. So I'm gonna put the link on the description. I won't you know, waste any more of your precious time. Thanks for watching this video. But honestly guys, this thing has been great. Go ahead and pick it up and just let me know how much you like it. Peace guys. Now I will say, if you have found a better solution, let me know. But till this day, I haven't found anything as good as this. Peace out.